Why, hello there, Exile. Today I wanted to share updates to the build, what I'm currently farming, and just kind of demo the setup so you can see if this is something that you want to go. My current strategy is to do 20% Delirium with Breaches and Expedition, and I'm forcing Cheula Breaches. And I almost get a Breach Stone per map, which is pretty ridiculous. So I start off by going into the new league mechanic and then adding a ton of juice to the map. Now this makes monsters super, super rippy, but I have barely enough damage where I'm comfortable doing it right now. Uh, I do die occasionally because especially when you're dealing with, well, either breaches, breezes can happen and they just do so much damage or you get empowered bosses and that shit's nasty. I mean, there's just a ton of things that can go wrong. But I like to play like this. It takes me about, I don't know, like 10 minutes to do a map. Somewhere around there and then loot and all that shit. So it's probably like four maps an hour. But I get almost like a divine of profit per map. So uh, I, I don't know. This, that's why I, how I like to play at the moment. And it's what's fun for me. And uh, yeah, that's what I do. So I also have a new strategy here where I'm going into the Wildwood. And then I backtrack to the start. And I go to different like side areas and don't completely follow the wisps. Uh, if you want to find the King of the Mist, that's the way to do it. I found him one time. I went too quickly. And then the phase two where you're supposed to follow the mist, I died. Yay. So I still don't have my other charm unlocked. In fact, that's why I kind of delayed putting this whole guide out because uh, I wanted to unlock my last charm, but it just hasn't happened yet, unfortunately. So, uh, but... I have the slower breaches here because you need to hit all the hand. Oh my God, I just froze. Oh no. Okay. Well, my game full froze for three seconds and then there's on death effects. So there you go. Once again, confirming that death effects are fun. I'm having fun right now. I don't know about you. You know, dying is a lot of fun, especially when your game freezes and then you die to on death effects. That was sarcasm for people who didn't pick up on that. Okay, the other thing you got to watch out is Soul Eater. See this guy that's coming at me? He's super mega Soul Eater. If I let him actually get at me, he's probably going to wreck my world. So I got to kite him out a little bit. You can see Soul Eater because the orange streaks are going into the creature. Now, um, I usually grab all those quantity things. And uh, that's the other reason why I die. I grab them all right before I pop my expedition, you know, later in the map. And another fortunate card. I've turned in like six sets of those so far. Pretty darn good. The main thing we're farming is that fortunate card. We have a chance to get the skin of the Lord's card on this map. Chance of empower card on this map. Chance of the scout, which isn't as good as it used to be, but it's still eight cards for seven exalts, which is almost a divine. So I've almost have a set of that already. So overall, some good stuff. But the reason why we're doing Jungle Valley here is because the map, the map boss isn't in the map at the start. So all the altars will only be buffs on you or it'll be buffs on the Eldritch minions, which means you can get more quantity altars. So that's why we're doing this specific map. Plus it's as good for delirium where like it, it goes to the end, pretty good breaches and it has that div card. So that is why we are doing this map. But overall, this build is kind of set up to do and I'm beginning to question, by the way, whether the delirium is worthwhile or not, because it slows me down so much. I don't feel like it adds that much loot. But basically, we're doing all these breaches and we're designed to kind of chain cascade here. So I did drop the obliteration wand and I have one of the new charms that do the chaos explode when things are first, but I only have a 9%. And then that's basically a 1 in 11 chance that a monster is going to explode. So in a pack of 11, one will explode. I found that to be too inconsistent. So I went with the Aureus Flask to get better, more consistent explodies, which you can see now, now I have pretty consistent explodes. I have 37%. So one in three monsters gets exploded for some sort of ignite. Now I still can make uh, improvements to the build. So for instance, a replica Ember Wake, I'm going to get that next now. And I probably on my last jewel will get something that adds back in when I'm getting 
from the ring that I'm removing, which is, oh, what's it called? Covered in ash. I'm going to be dropping the Polaric Devastation Ring that gives Covered in Ash for Replica Emberweight. And since I haven't really invested in faster burns, then that's pretty much going to give me about a million more DPS on my Wave of Conviction and about 2 million DPS uh, on Qualifying Blast if I hit it max. So that will help me probably get rid of the rest of these rares that are just barely not dying. Then I also could go, ooh, that was a nice explosion. Almost died there too because it froze. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're, we're pretty tanky because we have a ton of Fizz taken as fire. And then we also have decent block with decent evade. So we block about half attacks, we evade about half attacks, and then we're taking most damage. As fire and then we have some recoup and then we have over leech on kill we have some chaos leech from the flask oh this is nasty one this i don't know if you saw the mods at the start i think it's like bosses do increase damage and extra fire or something and then it's or it's also double boss and they both got empowered so this purple stuff oh it's so hard to kill them and it just really isn't worth Unless you can do this stuff quickly, it's not worth doing, guys. Just skip the League mechanic stuff for the most part. Skip the juicing until you have the DPS. Otherwise, it just takes too long. And the rewards are barely worth it. I mean, it's worth it if you could do it and then it doesn't slow you down. But look how much time I just spent on that boss. So, anyways, um, I'm going to loot a little bit here. Okay, I cut out about three minutes of looting here, just so you know, but I did want to show you the expedition. So I went and grabbed all the altars that did, gave Quant before I do this. And of course, I got to clear out little stragglers here. Make sure that you do that, otherwise you're probably going to die when you have the minus res and all the nasty stuff from the minus Quant. So that they're not killing you when you're putting down explosives. We want to avoid uh, immune to fire. And we want to avoid 10% of, or sorry, 100% chance to avoid ailments. Those are the two main things to avoid that we cannot do. Now, the nice thing about fire conversion is there's a really nasty one where it penetrates fire, or sorry, it penetrates physical defense. And we don't have to worry about that because we're using this taken as fire. So that's one of the rippier mods. But let me just hit the explosion. And then what we just do is we back up. And if we're lucky here, then we'll be able to just straight up clear through the whole thing really quickly. However, what happens and sometimes we get like triple empowered, double empowered monsters. And then sometimes they also, on top of that, have the delirium modifier on it, which makes them ridiculously tanky. But hopefully we'll get lucky here. And we'll get no bad monsters, but you know, you never know here. And so I also did this at the end of the delirium. It would be so much easier if I didn't have 10 stacks of delirium here, but I'm trying to force quantity. But I've been noticing that when I do these high delirium, I seem to get shittier drops than I do. What the heck is this guy's problem? Oh, he's triple empowered. Oh, well, I'm dying to this guy. This is the ultimate boss of the game right here, guys. Triple empowered in. Okay, we, we're out of flasks. Let's go into here. Triple empowered with a proximity shield. The only way this could be worse is if he had life regen and like ignite resistant. So sometimes you'll run into ignite resistant monsters, but hasted extra life pretty darn with, with the empower is really, really ridiculous, but. But just for the sake of the demo, I would probably skip this if I wasn't recording, to be honest. We'll just see if we can actually kill this guy. Maybe he'll drop something good. But usually I'm just finding triple empowered things. Just the, the rewards are not worth it. So I think they really need to buff some of the rewards. It's just for the rippiness, for the time, it just isn't worth it. It's kind of a trap. Ah, he's so tanky and he's pissed so pissed all right come on kite in circles don't die 
He's almost dead. Come on. And that wasn't worth. Wasn't worth at all. <laughs>